Okay, today uh, in the Bloomington History Room, part of the Bloomington Public Library, we're going to look at some of the items that have been on display in our uh, display case here uh, in the History Room. And one thing I'd like to mention is, of course, we're not being able to show everything today. And uh, there, if anybody has any more that were souvenirs or gifts from uh, Christmas gifts at different stores here in the area or in the area towns, uh, we would certainly like to have those if you don't want them anymore or don't know what to do with them. So keep us in mind there because we're still always growing or making some changes, rotating things. We're not going to throw anything away, but we can always change what's on display. Today here we're going to look at some of the items that I took out of the display case here and uh, mention the business and uh, how important these things were. One of the first things uh, we'll be looking at some plates and these were always uh, quite an item over the years. I remember many years ago when I was quite young and still at home, the movie theater sometimes there you could be building a collection of maybe different plates or dishware, whatever it might be. And keep in mind too, many years ago, it wasn't quite so expensive to give some gifts away from your business. That's, getting, that's changed a lot over the years too. Now in this one here, it says 1953, and this is from the Brotville Cheese Factory. And it's kind of neat. Uh, we're careful with it, it has a little crack in it, but that doesn't hurt anything. And uh, here it shows a, a calendar here for 1953, which is really neat. Now the next one here, we do have a lot of things there from the FB Porter store, but this was a Merry Christmas thing, it looks really nice. A nice illustration there on the plate. And it has the kind of thing where it could be hanging up when you look at the back. Again, some little cracks. You always have to be careful with things because there's a lot of age involved. But they are very interesting and beautiful. Now the next one was a real special thing here from the Ludden store. And they were starting here in 1911. 1911, a long time ago, and this features, of course, the calendar for 1912. But this is meant as an opening souvenir from the Ludden store. And again, this is the type of thing you could hang it up. Now in the next area here, uh, wasn't too long ago, the person knew that I was always interested in historical things and had this uh, either in the family somewhere. And this is a little bank here from Woodhouse and Bartley Bank. And when you look, about like a, the special Liberty Bell, and then on the bottom you can see where there's a slot where things could be opened there. So that I thought that was a pretty cute thing, especially for kids. I'm sure they really like that. Now, another thing, uh, like a little coin purse, those things were popular. And here from Jerry's Mobile, and I remember that when I was here in town, the different people that ran the mobile station. Uh, difficult to keep things going there as times changed there with uh, the big outfits that you had to work with and that. But uh, this is very nice. Uh, and there also another one here with the blue, kind of fit our school colors, you know. So there we see Jerry Mobile from Bloomington. Now another one here, always again, nice to see school colors. And uh, at Siskiyo Centennial time here, compliments of Woodhouse and Bartley Bank. 
and 1855 to 2005 they're mentioned on there. So it's a long, long, long time. And uh, again, a kind of a neat thing and uh, kids I'm sure really enjoyed those. Now we just have a few examples of calendars because there's so many of them, and, but these are a couple of the smaller ones. And sometime with larger ones, uh, we'll show you that, that we have stored elsewhere. Uh, this was the Kleesner Dairy Service here from January 2001. Now another one, I kind of wish I had something so people out there, if you have anything from your ownership of the Tafton House or running it for a while, we would be glad to have anything. But this one here is at the time when uh, Dave and Deb Fisch Fischler were running the Tafton House. And of course this shows the calendar here of 1993. Now another thing, it's it's old, it's been around quite a while, but it's kind of, just notice how the car looks at there at the top, kind of neat. And this was a little gift here from Bailiff's uh, Auto Glass and Radiator Service. And uh, you could see where the switch would go up in here, and you could uh, screw that in. And over here, at one time, of course, that had a little thermometer there, too. But it's just interesting uh, what sometimes people had for creations. Again, uh, anything that seems unique or different, keep us in mind. Now, here we have a thing that we're not quite sure what it was designed for. So, uh, we'll... Uh, can do that with it. <clears throat> this from, was from Porter's store as a gift. So if you know what that was, uh, we'd appreciate hearing from you. Uh, you could just send a, uh, a note or something to the Bloomington Public Library or leave a call there on the phone there for the Bloomington Public Library, which is always in the phone book and that. So uh, w we would just kind of like to know a little bit more about that what this was meant for. Now on this roll we have several items from Porter's store. This of course is used for measuring. Those are always kind of handy. And I've seen different things over the years that people would have what meant to measure different things when you were cooking and doing things. Now here I'll hold this up so you can see what's in the bottom here. Nice handy bowl from the Porter's store. And again you can see that it's kind of pretty, the design and so on. Now here, I can remember great big things like this, what we call the crock. Uh, when I was growing up and uh, grandparents uh, on a farm yet, and uh, sometimes you'd see great big ones that were, they would make sauerkraut in and different things. But, so it's well made, nice and, nice and heavy there. And uh, there you see it from Porter's. Now this I thought was kind kind of neat. Uh, it's this pot, from porters, and then you can see lots of space in there, and we have the lid with it. So a lot of things could be placed in that. And again, stoneware, very 
heavy, very neat. Now over here, uh, there's probably a lot of these kind of things floating around for different businesses, but from Nice's uh, supermarket. And uh, I know in more recent times there was a couple that gave that to us and thought we would be interested and it looks very nice. And these things sometimes you'll see on sale maybe in a store somewhere, yet uh, that's selling uh, antiques or older items so you know you might see things like that now this from a bailiff's machine shop but this can stand and has a mirror So these things, there are a lot of little neat things that uh, are given away out there. Just one more time to see the outside there. Now, we only have a few here on the table, but there are many more. And sometime when we, uh, we already have some that we'll have to put into the display case. Uh, the matchbooks that different places put out and if you look at those you can uh, pretty well see the uh, different businesses there Bloomington Farmers Mutual and um, Charlie Grass Auto and the couple of the taverns different owners at the time R&J's Larry's Bar and here from Hughes Auto Sales. Now that's going back quite a ways, but doesn't have anything in there anymore, but uh, I know that was one of the buildings here that uh, held different owners at one time and uh, dealt with cars and service station and that type of thing, and Hughes was one of those. And uh, here from uh, and this one, Sherman's Butter and Cheese, they had different places around. Now over in this direction, <laughs> we have some rulers of, made from different materials. And one of these is a little newer looking and metal. G, C, Lucy and Company in Bagley. This I always keep because it's kind of handy uh, in the drawer where I have a lot of the uh, the uh, what we were watching there on uh, can watch on uh, on the uh, computer the microfilm rolls and that. Oh, here we have one, <laughs> Doug Hoffman. Now we are used to him with uh, the car operation or in buses and everything. Uh, and here with the Borden dairy products. So different, <clears throat> different people were delivering those over the years. So delivering uh, different milk products and so on, that was an important thing. We don't have anything there from uh, bakery trucks, but I can remember that when I was still at home there over in Carver County, uh, be one that made the rounds around the countryside. Now this one will be a little harder to see, but it is one of these made sort of like a triangle, a wooden one, and this was given by uh, Ora Hatch, Ori Hatch, and Different things are advertised on the thing, so it's a little bit hard to see that because of the size. Well, when I turn it around, I think you'd see some different things on this side. So again, lots of age on it, but a very handy gadget. 
Now another ruler here that I like because it looked like a foot. Bolt's shoe store. And of course there were different owners of the shoe store over the years. But I thought that was kind of a neat little gift. Now we have a big long thing here. I'll hold it this way so you can kind of zoom in here. Kenneth Brookins had the service station. And so this has been kind of handy. We always sort of keep it out because it's a handy one to get a hold of quickly. But again, a uh, lot of years, a lot of years on this. And you see with the services and things that are provided in Bloomington. Well, I guess we'll look at the back side too. Advertises a lot of things as you can see. Now, another thing that was always a big deal over the years, thermometers. And here we have one from Z and K Implement. Of course, located in the building that was taken down not, not so terribly long ago because of age and condition and so on. But it was one of the outfits that occupied that area for a while. And it looks like everything could still work with the thermometer. Now another thing that in a little much more recent time, or at least I remember when it was uh, still at a nice Texaco station. And you see the different little things that it show us there. Now this one goes back a long, long ways. Oakleaf hardware. So we know this goes back a long ways. The thermometer probably doesn't look like that wants to work anymore, but it's still nice to look at and the emblem, everything that you see there, uh, shows up very well. So, very neat, very neat thing. And one more here. When Oats Hatchery, at this time they had two locations there in Bloomington and Bosque Bell. And you see what it mentions here about the lay, uh, eggs and temperatures and so on. And, of course, this has a lot of age on it, but how handy that would be for people. Just a very handy little thing to have. And today we have one little more item here. I'll have to read this first and then let you zoom in on it. Uh, five and one half inch shoe button hook from F.L. Greer Fine Shoes in Bloomington, Wisconsin. Now you can see the hook there. And I'll try to get my fingers out of the way for the rest of it there. So you know that goes back a long ways, but again, very neat thing to see. Now this is just a small sampling of things that were given. Uh, like I say, we don't have everything, but if anybody has something you would like to donate or don't want anymore, don't know what to do with, uh, we'd like to have, and we can rotate the items for uh, being observed and seeing them. So uh, we'll, we'll try to do that. So we're always looking for things or any other things that you think, well, might the history room like this? Go ahead and ask us here. 
Many times we're, we're very, very glad to get most anything as long as it isn't too huge and <laughs> we only have so much space. But uh, just keep us in mind there. And again, like on the one gadget there from Porter's store, if you know what that was about or what that was used for, uh, let us know. And any other time, if you have some comments or additionals, we're always glad to hear. You can uh, make a call to the Bloomington Public Library or send it to the Bloomington uh, Public Library in uh, Bloomington, Wisconsin, and they'll get to us. Thank you again for watching.